This is the revelry. Okay. God. Teha, stop! Jeez, Teha. So inappropriate. What the frick? This is a sponsored stream? Please. We're better than that. This keyboard today we're building is the Relvery. Relvery? It will start on the 20th and then it'll run until October 13th. So, not quite a month, a little less than a month. So, this board is really pretty for all you girlies out there that like the moon star aesthetic. Whoa! kind of get it right here i really love boards like this so like the first keyboard that comes to mind with like the moon aesthetic is like sukoyomi or namoi those are all really pretty yeah it's very cute this is the navy color but there are a total of seven colors you have aurora nightcap dawn dusk lunar eclipse and twilight so seven different colors. So it starts at 325, goes up to $400. This is 65%. Uses top mount via internal brackets. There is solder hot swap and wireless hot swap available. It does have the arrow key blocker. It does have also this nice smooth cherry lip. There are no harsh corners. You can see they've all been curved out like that. Bezels are pretty even. I guess it's like slightly wider on the top bezel compared to the side bezel, but these two are the same. Nice little front lip. There is a side. So once again, you can see the little lip and you can see how they've smoothed out the corner. It does have this nice fold, nice crease right there, the side profile. And then here you can see the bottom back plate. You have this back piece, but then you also have this weight. So I say it's a back piece because I don't know if you can see it. So you can see the two dual toned right here, right? So you can see like the navy, but then you can see how this piece is a different color. It kind of blends in well with the navy, but if you look at it closely, it is like a different color. The top piece doesn't go over this bottom piece. It's more like a back plate where the top piece is screwed onto, right? This is an eight degree typing angle. So you have the back plate and then you have the weight right here. You have the four feet that are going to be adhesive. And then here you have the USB port. So two USB ports, centered USB. And then here you can see the branding or the name of the board, the Revelry. So this is another two USB port board. And then here is the front lip. So here you can see what I mean by like backplate. And then here you can also see it. One thing to notice, no visible screws seen throughout the case. So instead, they're going to be one, two, three, four. The plate is screwed on to the case. So it looks like there are these two metal pieces that are also holding the plate in place, but it doesn't go all the way across. So you have these two, it looks like it holds it, the corners in place, but then for like the metal parts, you do have the screws. This looks like one piece, but let's take it apart and look at it. So here you have this metal piece. So it's held down by four screws, two on top, two on the bottom. So this is how we would go down onto the top case, but then when you look at it, it has three gaskets here. I'm guessing these are more of like a force rig, but these don't really protrude out too much. Same thing on this side. So you have these two pieces that are put onto the case right here. But if you look at the plate itself, it's actually screwed onto the top case all the way. I thought maybe the two pieces were compressing the sides down, but it's not. It's just the two pieces hide these screws underneath so that you don't see it. So in total, the plate is held onto the top piece or screwed onto the top piece by eight screws from the top or on the bottom. So on the product page, it says, Revelry is designed around the concept of being at peace, floating, and positive thoughts. The case appears as if it is hovering above the bottom with accent bends in the case that give the case a soft appearance. So if you look at these brackets, they're actually not symmetrical. So you can see how this one piece protrudes up like this and it doesn't go all the way down. So the orientation that you place it does matter. So basically you have these pieces that you screw onto the side like this, right? And then these are what holds the case together. So then when you place it back down, 
and you screw it together, the two brackets are what keep the bottom and the top piece all together. There's nothing on this case right now that you could screw onto the bottom piece to keep it in place. But then when you add these two bracket pieces, this now gives you a point to hold down the top piece to the bottom piece. The corner plates for the mount align with the screw points. In order to keep these points the same and aligned, they created this alternative. This is a mounting point, but it's also a screw point. Instead of moving the mounting point so it doesn't clash with this one, they've created these brackets. So now you have the mounting points that are still there, but then you also have the screw point to keep the case closed together. So that is why these internal brackets were created. Here is the bottom piece. So there's a lot going on here. So first of all, you have this internal weight that acts as a cover for the USB port and the daughter board. This like whole shebang thing right here. Here, I don't know if you can see it, but there is the Canon logo. So it's internal on the weight. Aside from having this internal weight, it looks like you also have like this external one right here. It does have this similar themed internal weight cover. Okay, so it's not really an internal weight. It's more just like a cover, just like this little cover piece. I mean, I guess you could call Call it a weight if you want but it's more just like a cover here you can see the two daughter ports so this is the main to plug it in and then here are the usb ports right so this is interesting you know how earlier i said this was a back plate it just has the appearance of a back plate it's still a bottom piece it's just designed to look like a back plate you can see that there are still walls for the top case to go over right here but the bottom case instead of making it flush with the walls, they've actually extended it out to create this back plate appearance. So then whenever you flip it over, it looks like it's just a back plate. But then you also have this weight on the back. So you see more force rate mods here. So you see two there and then two here. You got a lot going on actually in this bottom case. You have like these pillars that are sticking out. You can see right there. So if you look at it and you're kind of like, well, what are all these gaps for? They're for the mounting points on the top piece. So the gaps give a little clearance for the screw points for the top mount. You have these like little soft pour on gaskets. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is just force break, right? This is a pretty intricate design. There's been a lot of thought that's gone into it. It's kind of fun as like a builder to like look at how it all goes together. So just as a side note, these two bracket pieces are not the same size. Okay, so that's this bottom piece. You have this for cable pass through. This part is for the little cover to cover all this up. This external weight, it's held onto the bottom piece by six screws. So you have three visible screws, but then you have the three hidden screws by the back plate. This one is actually a two toned or two piece weight. You can see the brass, you can see the regular. So when you take it apart, so this is what gives the moons and the stars the color. And then this has been cut out like that and then you would just put it together like this. There's actually nothing to keep these two pieces together, like no screws. Instead, this just screws onto the back piece and then it just kind of, you know, friction holds it. Which is interesting that they've relied on just like screwing this whole thing flat together without incorporating some kind of screws here. As long as it doesn't affect the sound, it shouldn't matter too much. I'm guessing because they didn't add some kind of screw or force break onto this to make sure like the metal on metal contact was reduced. I guess that's just implying that this won't affect the sound in any way. And then if you look at this back piece here, you can see it has the space for it, right? And the one thing to note is that they do have this additional hole so that you don't have to take this back piece off. You can just screw it like that if you want. Essentially what that means is that you can slide this daughter board out without having to remove this piece. So essentially if you want to swap out this plate, you have to take out 16 screws. Apparently they're offering three versions of the PCB. Hot swap, solder, and wireless hot swap. 
And then for the plates, they're offering Alu FR4 PC carbon fiber, the smoke PC plate. No flex cuts, nothing really special, eight mounting points. And then this is the hot swap. It's not wireless, but you can do step to regular caps lock, your choice of bottom row. So either 6.25 or 7U. You can split the backspace and then everything else is pretty standard. There's no LEDs. And it does have two buttons, the reboot boot mode. Three PCB options, solder, hot swap, wireless hot swap. So in terms of layouts for wireless hot swap, you can only split the backspace and it forces you into the 6.25U space bar. Hot swap PCB, so what I have here, that's not wireless. You can split the backspace, you can do step or regular caps, and then you can choose whether you do 6.25 or 7U spacebar layout. Solder PCB, you can split the backspace, you can do ISO enter, you can do step or regular caps, you can split the left shift, you can do a 6.25 or 7U layout, or you can actually do split spacebar. So obviously you have more with the solder PCB, but it's pretty interesting. They're offering split space bar. Yeah, let's just start building it now. I got my really bad sleeping schedule from my mom, right? And so it's, I guess sometimes she's lonely at night because no one else is awake, but she knows I'm awake. So she knows like, oh, it's the middle of the night. <laughs> Let me go show Patricia this bug. <laughs> She'll be awake. And yeah, I am awake for her to be like, check out this beetle. <laughs> so I think that's also been really nice for her. Let's talk about it. This group by starts September 20th, runs until October 13th. This is one of seven colors. So you get the nice cherry lip. 65% has the arrow blockers. This board is pretty intricate. It's a screwless case design. So the plate looks like a little scary, like some people were saying. It doesn't actually make contact because if you look at the plate, it will have a tiny hole for the mounting, but then it has a big hole for the screws. And it looks a little bit fragile, but you have this big hole and it doesn't actually make contact with the case screw. And then you also have the blocker piece or the bracket like over it too. So when you're building this, if you decide to get it, which you will because this was a great stream, right? Just recognize that the two brackets are different sizes. And if you're wondering what these holes are for, these little circles, these are for the steps. 
And then you can actually buy the different accent pieces, right? So if you decide that, you know, you want like the twilight, but you want the moons to be like a different color, you can actually buy a different accent color, right? So I didn't get foam, but you can buy the foam kit. It does use adhesive feet, and then you can buy more force break gaskets if you want. But yeah, that's the word. If you guys are interested, please consider using my affiliate link, especially if this is the stream that convinced you to buy the board. Using the affiliate link helps me out a lot. Other than that, thank you Canon Keys for sending this out to me. Yeah. That's the build. That's the build.